minutes too. I'm trying to keep them under. All right, so this is a new episode right now. I got my ass kicked about 120 times by the same boss. Uh, beating this game about 10 times. No, more than that. Probably a couple hundred times. I've had this game for 22 years. Don't ever remember any boss ever giving me this much trouble, ever. And I'm just not, I'm just not having it right now. It's not even that hard. Like, I know the pattern. I know what he does. I know everything to do right. I just can't do it. Oh yeah, no, I mean, Game Boy graphics on a fucking 60-inch TV is pretty awesome. <laughs> That's definitely helping. I don't want that. Oh, cool, give me that. The cloud, when the cloud is after the enemies, it turns into little like, 10 coin coins. So. Oh, that does that. It gives me uh, Trogdor powers. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I can't go in. It, it's very, it does make me faster. Yo, Cloud Dude. He hurts me, but he also turns the enemies into 10 coins, which is cool. So if I could aim it right, I get a whole bunch of coins. Those things kill me. Don't want to get killed. Generally, the games work. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Yes. I forgot all about that. And there's, yeah, that was a good one. And there's like, isn't there like a babysitter game too, where like, you choose like the babysitter or the baby, and you try to kill the parent, or creative ways to kill the baby? Alright, so I just, I think I'm going to start using save states after, oh, no, that, see, that time it hit him. I did the exact same thing before, and it just bounced off. So, it's sort of random. That's two hits. Okay, one more hit. That's all it needs. And it bounced right off him. And he... And he throws me twice. So he touches you, he freezes you. He shoots enemies at you, they're random. And you have to throw the enemies that he throws at you at him back. When he's, when he's still. If he hits you in a weird place, the enemy disappears. If you hit him in a weird place, the enemy does nothing. It's very random. This isn't supposed to be this hard. That wasn't the point of this.
So there we go. After using save states, I, I just I gave up. I had to use the save state because I was tired of playing the entire level over and over again. And then, like, no, that, that's totally legit though. For something like this, I thought that's totally. Like, I think I might have played the level 20 times, and it's not even hard. It's just random. Like, you throw the enemy one time, it works. The next six times, it doesn't work. So I was like, all right, cool. I eventually, I just wanted to beat the level. It was beatable. I beat it. Yay. <sighs> and that wasn't even, like, the end of the game. No, and then... On top of everything else in this game, there's, um... There's a good ending, and then, like, a... There, there's, like, six different endings. It's, like, the okay ending is just beating the game. And then there's an ending where you've beat the game with all the gems. So I have all but one gem because I just haven't got to the level where it is yet. And then there's beat the game with all the gems and 10,000 coins. And then you get like the best castle and the best ending. And in order to get 10,000 coins, you have to be really good with the mini games at the end of every level. I only have like 2,000 coins and I have two levels to go. There's no way I'm getting 10,000 coins. Unless I cheat. Which I might have to do just to get the good ending. Or I might just beat it and then do a save state before I beat it and then come back and then cheat the good ending. Like it's a separate video. What is that? Oh. Marinating the chicken. Burdenating the chicken. That was a secret that I forgot about. But I didn't forget. Only one treasure left.
I like how everything in this game is named after food. What's that? Everything in this game is named after some kind of food. Not food. You got Rice Beach, Sherbert Island, I'm now at Syrup Castle. I know it's here the Parsley Forest. That's the Parsley Forest. Yes, everything is food. What's the water? I don't really know. I think the developers were just bored. And they're like, Mario's kind of run its course, let's make a new game. And then they're like, ah, never mind, no Mario shit. Because it doesn't even, like... He appeared briefly at the end of the second Mario Game Boy game, and then he had Wario's Woods on NES. But it, that doesn't make any sense. Even then, it just, it's a guy, it's just a character. It's kind of like fat Mario with, like, a hard hat. It doesn't... Yeah, he's just like evil. But he's not really evil. Not really, he's too dumb to be evil. Like, he tries to be evil, but, like, he just likes money. He's like Carl from fucking, uh... Aqua, no, from like Aqua Team. Like he tries to be a badass, he's just not. Pretty much. Mario's Earth. Big Nick Knock. Oh. Master Yoshi. Master ah. Yoshi. Like Master Yoshi. Master Yoshi. I love how those don't hit you when they hit you. Well, I'm crouched. Yeah. <laughs> it's a video game. It's still halfway through your head. <laughs> it's really hard to crouch. garlic? Yes. What does garlic do? It makes... It gives you a spiky hat. And the camel head gives you, uh, this. You can fly. I don't understand why. It's, it's just so you can bypass every first important difficulty in the game. Yeah, but I don't understand the choice. Oh, I do need garlic head, though. Oh, so he doesn't just fly, he, like, well, like This one, he, yeah, he has a boost kind of thing. And then there's a spiky hat where I can kind of like affix myself to a ceiling and then I can do like a big ground pound with my ass. And then the dragon head shoots flames. But I pretty much have like a speedrun helmet on right now. Yeah, I totally missed the secret in that level, but I, I, I know how to get it, I just didn't get it. And there's bonus games. One, you pull down a chain, and it gives you either, um, like a 10-ton weight, and it crushes you and takes away half your coins, or it gives you money back and it doubles your coins. Almost every time I do it, you, I get the bad one, and it takes away half my coins. And if the entire goal is to get 10,000 coins, that is definitely detrimental to that goal. So, it's random, but it's, like, never in your favor. So even though it's random, like, you you have a really good chance it's, it's not. It's random, but it's weight. Yeah. It's like 70% nah. Alright, well.
Wow. That was, uh... That was a thing that just happened. I got work at 10 and there's a pay-per-view tonight, so you guys get to go watch the pay-per-view. Uh, uh, elimination Chamber. I think... Well, the main event's gonna be the Elimination Chamber. It's... Gotta have Cena and AJ Styles and then four other people. Bray Wyatt. Uh... Kinda weird, kinda dumb. Um... It's big cage. Like, that takes over, like... Bigger than a hell in a cell. Big kind of dome-shaped cage. With four pods in each corner. Or one pod in each corner, so four pods. And the match starts off with two guys in the ring and one person in each pod. Every five minutes, another a pod opens and somebody comes out. I think it's kind of stupid. So it's like a small cage for a rumble? Yeah. But yeah, with only six people. Uh, and... The champion is usually in it defending the belt against four other people, so that's how that works. Um, so the champion doesn't usually take the Generally, that's how they bill it as, but, I mean, Cena just won it two weeks ago at Royal Rumble. I doubt he's going to lose it, but you never know. I mean, he could be anywhere on the WrestleMania card. He's already he's automatically in main event. He does not need the belt. But I don't think they would just give him the belt to have him lose it two weeks later. No, I don't see that uh, as a, a thing. Everybody's saying uh, Bray, Bray Wyatt's gonna win. I don't. I don't understand why. I guess to have because Royal Rumble, uh, Randy Orton won, so he gets the title match at WrestleMania regardless of who's the champion going into it. So right now it'll be Randy Orton versus John Cena. But I think people are like, oh well, if Bray Wyatt wins, then it would be Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton, and that's like the Wyatt family, and people want to see that. I'm like, okay, I guess that's what people want, but I don't know if that's what's gonna happen. But regardless, even though Orton's not the champion, he has like the advantage of an automatic main event because he won the Royal Rumble, which is that's better than being champion essentially.
everyone did the, did the same level over and over and over again. This is like a very riveting video. We're gonna be like, wow, that's like the worst ever. <sighs> All right, so just just beat him without sucking. It's definitely more fun to watch that way. Cool, I have all of the gems now. Now I just need 7,300 more coins. Choppy, choppy, choppy. <laughs> Are you chopping rock boys? Chopping, chopping broccoli. Oh, they're at 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna end this one right now, and then this is the last level for the next time. So that's.